Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a quite large unboxing. Uh, I'm going to sound out of breath like most of this video because I am still sick. It is December 1st. I've been sick now for a week and a half. <laughs> I think at this point I don't even have a cold anymore. It is literally just this like sinus infection and I did not take uh, decongestants today because I've been on decongestants for like five days and I need a break. <laughs> My body needs a break. It doesn't like them. And I just, so now I'm like feeling worse. I feel worse <laughs> because I'm not taking these decongestants and I'm just so stopped up. So you can probably hear that, but I'm not letting it stop me. I'm not letting it stop me because if I were not to film this entire time that I was sick, who knows when I'm going to get better. I did finally make a doctor's appointment. I cracked. I cracked and I finally made a doctor's appointment for Tuesday because it feels like when I don't take the decongestant, it's like someone is hitting me in the face with a brick. <laughs> like right here and right here. It just hurts so much. Oh, and I've developed a nice like deep chest cough that wasn't there yesterday. So that is even better. So I'm sure I'm going to get checked for pneumonia or bronchitis when I go to the doctors as well. So just having a great time. Just having a great time here. Just, just great. But let's actually get to the unboxing. This should be the final of everything for November. So I think that is a Alcrate Adult November book. That is my Fox and Wit November. That's my last Fox and Wit. This is, um, they stopped doing young adult books anyway. This is a Fox and Wit young adult November book. But I canceled both my adult and November just because it, I had too many things going on, too many subscriptions. Twisted Retreat. This is one of the last box I believe I'm getting because I am a rep for Twisted Retreat. This is the November box. I believe that I am getting through December. And then starting in January, I'm actually switching and being a rep for the Unplugged Book Box, which is like their other company. They're no longer doing monthly boxes, but they are doing special edition boxes. So they have a winter box that's coming out in I believe January that I am a rep for. I will be getting the full box. You can see an unboxing here in January, February, depending on when it's sent. And it is an Alice in Wonderland box and they already have a release of what the book looks like and it looks so good. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. So excited to what they're going to do with that. So uh, I have a rep code for the Unplugged Book Box shop and the Twisted Retreat shop down in my little section below if you want to check that out. But as usual, I am honest with these. I will be honest with the Unplug unboxings and I'm always honest with the Twisted Retreat unboxings because that's, I, I don't, I, if they don't want to send me anything and I'm being honest about stuff, that's fine. I, I just have to be honest on this channel. Uh, that is the fairy list is going to be funny because this just has a random book in it. It's the, it's the fairy loot. Uh, adult only November book, but I got it so early this month that I unboxed it and then I forgot about it. So I just shoved it in another fairy loot box. And then we have the November Illumicrate box, which I'm really, really, really excited about. So let's get into these finally. We're going to start with all of the individual books first. I'm going to pull that one out, uh, but we're going to start uh, going through these and I'm very excited about it. So starting with the November Alcrate, I got this when I was actually supposed to be on vacation. So that's the other thing that sucks about this illness is we went to my husband's house for Thanksgiving. I was already feeling the beginnings of illness. We thought it was allergies, but I still told his mom, I was like, are you sure you want us to come? Cause I'm not feeling good. And this definitely could be something. It could be COVID, the flu, a cold, it could be something. And it did end up turning out to be something. None of them got sick. I don't know how any of them got sick, but uh, both my husband and I got sick. We missed Thanksgiving. We had to stay home, obviously. So sick. <laughs> so Thanksgiving and the day after were the two worst days. So ill. And then literally we were supposed to leave Sunday for Disney. Disney was supposed to be Sunday through Thursday. And so I put our mail on hold for a really long time. And so this just came like yesterday. Uh, but we had to cancel that trip, which was really, really sad. We were able to reschedule it for February, but not happy about it. <laughs> so not happy about it. So anyway, this took a while to get to me just because I had it on hold. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like. I have seen a couple of like spoilers, but I've like turned away from them really fast. So I'm excited to actually see like the book fully. So here is the November Owl Crate. I always pre-open these if you haven't seen one of these unboxings before, just because I don't want to uh, film me cutting open boxes. This is not fun. So Hidden in Time, November Adult Fantasy. We will look at the spoilers on the back afterwards. 
It looks so good. I'm so excited. I was actually on the fence about getting this one, but I ended up reading the synopsis and it just sounded so good. And I'm so excited I did because this looks really good. Let me unwrap this and we'll look at the inside of the book. So here is the book. I love it. This is so pretty. I don't know how I feel about the red. I think the red could have been a little bit more muted to match this, or even I would have liked a blue. The red is a bit bright for the rest of the design of this book. I think it's a little, you could have even done like a light green that would have been pretty, but the, the red's a little too bright. Up closer, it's, this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. We have the side and then we have the back. The next time you see the door, open it. Oh yeah, and I'm not gonna be reading any of the synopses for anything just because my throat, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. So if you wanna read them, go check out on Goodreads if you're interested in any of the books. But this is The Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrian Young. I'm so excited about this. Okay, we've got, ooh, we've got like a full design on this one. So we have the back and that's really pretty. I love this art style. He looks a little wonky. Oh, no, okay. It looks a little weird in the viewfinder for some reason, but it looks a lot better than I thought it did. That looks beautiful. So that is the back. Then we have the book. I love this. This is definitely one you can display without any dust jacket, but that dust jacket is so pretty. I don't know if I would. So we have just like, it's like a little journal page. I'm sorry, my nails, I still haven't done them. We have that. And then we have, I'll try hiding them. <laughs> we have the back. Uh, one year later, still no answers. Did he go missing? I don't remember. I literally looked up what was in this book, but I don't remember. And then here's the inside. Again, I'm loving this artwork. This is my style of artwork. I don't like overly realistic stuff. The people in the comments, thank you. You guys help me figure out what I like and don't like in artwork. I was struggling so much my last big unboxing trying to figure out what it was, but I don't like overly realistic, glossy almost looking artwork. I love the more like artsy kind of looking stuff. Uh, there was a term for it, but I don't remember the term for it. <clears throat> and then we have the sign page. You're gonna hear me doing that a lot. I'm sorry, the little, <clears throat> trying to clear my throat. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry um we have a sign page and the author letter i love the bound in author letters and then i bet there's yeah there's something different in the back i don't like the rendition in the back as much this starts borderlining on like your realistic looking artwork thing going on but i still like it it's still okay but yeah i'm pretty excited about this this looks very cool i love that so this is a win definitely oh yeah and this was a book of the month i knew i was getting it in this box so i did not get it from book of the month and i'm fine with not getting it because i like this copy this cover way better than the original oh spoiler card they show the original versus what they did i definitely like this one better it's so pretty. It says the exclusive cover illustrated by Anne Guyon Arts, the reversible dust jacket done by Pole Arts, fully printed hardcover done by Hatch Andrews, and then end papers illustrated by Zerial Art. Signed by the author, author letter bound into the book, bonus content bound into the book, and sprayed edges. And then they have like they're all the little playlists and all the things going on. So that is everything in the Alcrate November adult only box so next we have our fox and wit again this is the last one that i'm getting for now i could definitely get some later on but this is the last one i'm getting of the young adult because december is their last young adult so this is that's kind of sad like i'm definitely more interested in their young adult subscription over anything else so i don't know if i would get the adult one <clears throat> okay we have the little spoiler sheet here normally it's just literally um like who makes what so look at that at the end then we have our little nice wrapped book and then we have the book this is interesting oh i don't think this looks good oh man this looks really bad that's really upsetting i am so glad that they give you the original dust jacket because this this looks <laughs> This looks really bad. Back looks fine. What the heck happened with the front? The front is so misprinted. Okay, it might, I'm hoping it looks better. It looks better on camera. Okay, 
So this is Sinner's Island. I'm really excited to read this one. I thought this looked really good. It looks, it's, the camera's doing a better job. See, but it sh you should be able to focus better out here. So in person, like, I see, do you see how unfocused it is? I shouldn't have to be this close for it to be focused. In person, it is so unfocused and it looks, it, it looks so bad. It looks, I've never gotten a dust jacket that looks this bad. The rendering is just absolutely atrocious. Oh my gosh, like you can even tell a little bit up here. I don't know if it's coming across as well on camera just because uh, the iPhone luckily does a lot of the focusing for me. <laughs> so sometimes it can be better than the eyes at focusing on things. Like a lot of things like, um, what is it? One Dark Window. The, d the end papers on One Dark Window are so dark, but when you show them on camera or take a picture of them, it looks so much brighter. So I feel like the same situation is happening here, but in person, it is very unfocused. It looks printed completely incorrectly. Um, I'm, I'm actually really surprised. I'm kind of very angry right now because <laughs> these are not cheap. These are not cheap. If I, like even the side, you can tell it's just printed so weird. So I'm not happy with this. I also don't like the artwork. So that didn't help the situation either. I am so happy that the original dust jacket comes with it because this is probably going straight in the trash, which is really sad. This is not good. It's printed on a weird paper too. Like, I think that's the problem. I don't think it was the actual art. I think it's whatever the heck this paper is. It's so weird feeling. And I've, again, I've gotten plenty of their books before and I'm, they've never printed it on something like this. This is like the cheapest of cheap, glossy paper. This is not good. This is this is a big no no. Don't <laughs> uh, subscription boxes. Don't don't do this. <laughs> do not do this. This is not good. Wow, that is so upsetting. Um, I don't know if I've been that mad at a book before. Like I'm actually really pissed off because again, like I said, this is not cheap, and a lot of people are getting. A lot of people are getting it so that's and especially their second to last one are you kidding me that's so bad anyway this is what the actual cover is this is significantly better it is a nice matte normal cover i don't know what they were thinking we also have a book plate so i am at least grateful for the book plate and we do we did get page overlays so we're gonna look at those in a second but that's the thing about fox and wit they don't do any special things so like nothing really makes up for the fact that the dust jacket is so bad except for like the signed book plate but that's not worth like thirty dollars so that's upsetting but anyway i am really excited about this book i'm just i'm pissed off <laughs> i feel like it's been a long time since i've been like this pissed off so let me put this aside because i don't like i don't like being mad so I'm gonna pretend I'm not mad let's look at the page overlays hopefully these look better okay so this is for another Maggie Steve Otter book I don't know if this is supposed to be in the Raven Cycle series I don't know this like name but we have Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Steve Otter it's very pretty I mean I love the artwork for this I wish this was like the artwork for the book that we just got but this is beautiful. I just need to find the book that this actually goes to. So for the spoilers, Blue Lily, Lily Blue page overlay design by The Well Smokery, Smackery? The Well Smackery. Dust jacket cover artist is Carla Apollonio or Lita Floor. And then the monthly preview card is designed by Nicol Art. But overall, I'm very underwhelmed by that. I'm very glad that I canceled. And that kind of just proves to me I'm not going to be probably getting another monthly box from them. Even if I want the adult book, I, I don't know about that. I'll probably wait. And if people put them up on like Mercari or something, I'll get one secondhand. Because normally they're not too expensive, except for very specific ones. Very specific ones go for a lot. But yeah, that was weird. That was really, really weird. Let's move on to the fairy loot just because I don't have anything else for that fairy loot. It's literally just gonna be the book. Okay, so we have the fairy loot book. There, no one's really, everyone's seen this one. This came like forever ago. I just kept forgetting to put it in, in like unboxings. It's sword catcher. I really don't like it. <laughs> the sad part is I actually really like, I don't even know why I put it in the book, in the box. I could have just showed it to you. I don't, I don't know why I was even trying. Um, I love the edges. The edges are beautiful. They're some of my favorite edges we've gotten. I think they're so pretty. And I, I like 
this. I think this is really pretty. It, it matches other their other Shadowhunter stuff series. I don't have those, so I don't care as much, but I really hate the dust jacket. I don't know what they're thinking with this dust jacket. It's just like, you could have done so many cool things with this. Like, I should have gotten Alcrates. I did not get Alcrates because I knew I was getting this one, but Alcrates and Illumicrates are so pretty, and then I get this. <laughs> I don't I don't like it. I do like this. I would display it like this. This is gorgeous. And the back is fine. That's just a normal back. But no, this is like the inside. Like that's the thing. They basically have this on the inside. This is good for inside. I don't want to see them on the outside. I wanted more of like an ornate decorative thing on the outside. But I mean, I'm still excited to have it. It's just weird. It's like a weird choice. And I feel like a lot of people felt that way. I, I did see this. And a lot of people were like, what the heck is this? <laughs> I do like this though. This is very pretty. Yeah, like I said, this is on the inside. The artwork is pretty. I just don't want it on the cover. And then we have signed. And then I don't know. I think the back was, oh, the back was different. Man, this lady is so pale. And that is everything with this book. It's just, it's just such a weird choice. It's such a weird choice. Oh, it does have a bookmark. I didn't realize that. I do like that. I love these little, I love the ribbon bookmarks. They make me very happy. We are moving on to the Twisted Retreat, our first full box unboxing. There is something weird about this one because they had to switch an item into this box because it didn't come in time for the last box. So they switched two items. So something on the spoiler card will be wrong. It's just switched from last week. I just need to remember what it was unless they switched on here already but we'll see I, I can't remember what it was that they switched okay first we have the spoiler card we will go over this and plus the peaks for next week and what the books look like oh there's two books in here okay i just ruined the books for me but there's two books in here <laughs> and uh we'll go over what they look like and, and what we got first we might as well start with the tarot card it was right on the front and i feel like this is pretty fitting because Everyone's been talking about the new Beetlejuice movie, how Jenna Ortega is going to be in it, and it sounds like it's going to be really good. So this is our Beetlejuice tarot card. There are lots of boxes in here, so I'm trying to figure out what's what. So we have this. I'm assuming this is another candle. I can't smell anything. I just realized. I'm not going to be able to tell you what this smells like. <laughs> oh, man. I hope there's no candles in the Illumicrate either. I didn't even think about that, of not being able to smell anything. Oh, that's funny. And I can't trust my smell anyway. Even if I did smell, I, I wouldn't be able to like tell you 100% what it actually smells like because my smell has been so weird too. Okay, this is also Beetlejuice. So we have Beetlejuice on the front. And then I can't really see what that says, but that is the design on the top. Looks like we've got like a gargoyle and stuff. Oh, I can smell it. Kind of, very, <laughs> very lightly. I feel like if I start having a reaction, we'll be able to tell what type of candle it is. I don't know. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what it is. I'm sorry. Oh man, I didn't even think about that, but it kind of smells nice. I I can't tell. I think it definitely still has a perfume. Yeah, I'm starting to get um, more congested. So I think it does have a perfume to it, but uh, I think it smelled kind of nice. <laughs> I don't know. My face is turning red and I am uh, wheezing a little bit. So I think it does have some sort of perfume in it. But anyway, that is the candle that I can't tell you anything about. Okay, I had to take a break after that and blow my nose and drink some water. And I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. So we're going to try and get through this faster. Next item, we have a, what is this? Pumpkin spice. It says coffee, coffee free, acid free, caffeine free, prebiotic, made with organic herbs. It's tea. I don't know why I missed that. It says Ticino. Ticino is the co company? I don't know what this is. I think it's just tea. It feels like coffee. It's like a mix between coffee and tea, I think. I don't know what this is. Anyway, oh, roasted almonds. Almond tea? Almond coffee tea? I don't know. This is interesting. I probably won't try this because it looks too much like tea or uh, coffee for me, but uh I'm, i might give this to a friend who likes pumpkin spice more than i do next we have sometimes dead is better is this like a schrodinger's cat thing going on or is this supposed to be stephen king salem's lot kind of thing going on is this supposed to smell like no that just smells like wooden it kind of smells like glue but again i don't know what actually anything smells like 
sometimes dead is better. That potentially, did I say Salem's Lot? No. <laughs> This is what I, I meant to say Pet Cemetery, but I didn't say Pet Cemetery. This is either Schrodinger's Cat or Pet Cemetery, but it kind of reminds me of, of, of Schrodinger's Cat. And then we have, I don't know what this is. This is some sort of fabric item that looks almost very cobwebby looking. Oh, they're little like, are they sleeve things? The goth in me loves this. <laughs> I would have loved this as a kid. I think this is what they are. They could be leg warmers as well. These would be pretty cool as leg warmers. I don't know. They're kind of neat. This would have been nice to have uh, when I was going to Virginia Tech football games when it was really cold. There are two of them. These are actually pretty cool. I probably actually will wear these. These are neat. And these would be really good for like Halloween costumes. Next, we have a charcoal wash off sheet mask. Again, this is something I can't really use, but I definitely have some friends who would love this. I wish I could use sheet masks. I would absolutely love to use sheet masks. They're so cool. I love this addition. And this is done by Bath Apothecary, which is a fantastic company that does really good stuff. Um, yeah, I love it. Oh, this is so cute. I love the little Michael. That's adorable. And then we have this huge item. It's not super heavy. It's pretty light. Oh my gosh. It's a book pot. Please don't break it. Please don't break it. Please don't break it. Oh my gosh. This is a book pot. I thought like Illumicrate was the only one to do them, but this looks so cool. I gotta get all the little foamies off of it. Okay. This is the little book pot. Book of, oh, this is hard to read. Book of Hauntings, Twisted Retreat. This looks really good. This is so nice. I love this. This is definitely the showstopper of the box, Book of Hauntings. I'm trying to show you better without this stupid light, ring light. And then, cause it's just really bright today cause it's really dark outside, it's raining. And then it says the Book of Hauntings. It looks so pretty. This is gonna look good next to all my other book pots. I have so many from Illumicrate. Yeah, very, very happy with this. I thought we were done. Oh my gosh, is this? I love this. It's an Edgar Allan Poe magnet. I am a huge fan of Edgar Allan Poe. I am so excited about this. It's little things like this that I absolutely love about Twisted Retreat because I'm not going to get a little Edgar Allan Poe minifigure anywhere else. Are you kidding me? This is adorable. This is like, this is definitely second favorite in the box. I love this and it's just a little magnet on the back. I love that. Okay, that is everything in the box except for the two books that we ended up getting this month. Let's show the first one, which is definitely like the secondary book. This is, I think this is the second box where I've gotten two books. We have, I don't know how to say that. I'm not even gonna try it. But that is the first book that is really pretty. It's again, that like faux leather feeling. It's so, it, this one's more of like a suede. I just love it. It feels so nice. This is creepy and very pretty. And then we have this creepy imagery in the back. This is gorgeous. And then we have gold gilded edges. And then on the inside we have this. And it is also signed. There's a special signed page. That's really cool. That looks really neat. I like that. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to look up later like what exactly this is about. That's very interesting. I haven't even heard of this at all. And then we have our book book. I did this last time too. This is Girl Among Crows. This is terrifying looking. Like this is absolutely terrifying looking. This is freaking me out. There's the side, there's the back. This is horrifying. And then we have some digital edges. So on the inside we have, this looks so cool. This is so pretty. They did some really cool stuff with uh, foiling on there. This is the side, more foiling, and then the back. This is such a pretty naked hardcover. I like this a lot better than this. This is just, I don't like creepy covers. That's my problem with horror books in general. I just don't like creepy covers. So I, I like this a lot better. This one gives me like an eerie feeling. So on the inside, we have more crows. I definitely feel like Edgar Allan Poe is pretty appropriate. This is the back same thing to put in the box with all the crows in this one. And then I don't see a signed page on this one. So we'll have to see 
if it was supposed to be signed or just is uh, not signed. Okay, so looking at the spoiler card, we have the Hauntings book face that was designed by T Pickle... T... <sighs> Why is life so hard? And I just threw the card. What is happening today? Uh, Hauntings book face designed by Typical Ghost. Beetlejuice candle designed by Typ Typical Ghost. Hand arm warmers. Survive the chilly light fall with these creepy arm hand warmers. They're a Twisted exclusive. The Pet Cemetery. I was right. It was Pet Cemetery. Well, half right. I, I gave two guesses. Pet Cemetery oil block. Pour some essential oils onto this wooden block. We have the Pumpkin Chicoroy Coffee. Chicoroy Coffee is from Tuccino. It's made from herbs and it's caffeine free. And technically, it said it was coffee free as well. O Magnet, the Hermit Tarot, which is Beetlejuice. And then we have the Michael Myers sheet mask. So they did adjust this for what was in the box because I think the the there were supposed to be stickers and I think something else in here instead of the the oil block because we got oil in the last one. So the oil was supposed to go with the oil block in the last one, but we got the oil block in this one. So that is everything that is in the box. I think because there was a book in this, I do think it was a little bit light on the actual items. Although the book vase, those are those are really really nice. Book vases are really nice. I love the Poe magnet. I could have done without the oil block. I just don't really use uh, oil diffusers and stuff because of how sensitive my smell is. I like the arm warmers. I pretty much generally liked everything in here except for the coffee, the sheet mask I can't use, and the oil block. So for me, this was like a so-so box. I definitely think the bang for your buck was with the book pot and the extra book. I mean, that is that is an extra item right there. So you, you don't expect to get a second book. So we did get a second book, which is really nice. So anyway, we have the December sneak peek, which is Dark Visions. And the book is going to be signed with an exclusive cover. The box contains a wearable uh, haunting of Hill House item and so much more. The November books, here we go. So A Girl Among Crowns, this is what that was supposed to originally look like. I do kind of like this one better just because this one really creeps me out. So if you like creepier covers, they did a better job. And then we have this. Ooh, I do like that original cover a lot. This one I could have gone either way. Either were really good. This one, Twisted Inversion what for the one I cannot pronounce, the extra book, was Faux Leather Finish with Foiling by Typical Ghost and pages signed by the author. Let's see. So the book book... Cover redesign, foiling on the dust jacket, stenciled edges, hardcover design, and end pages. So yeah, there were there was no it was not supposed to be signed, so I wasn't missing anything. Okay, that is everything in the Twisted Retreat. Like I said, this one it was okay. It was okay. Not overly impressed by this one, but again, I feel like this one was more about the book pot and the extra book. We are officially moving on to the thing that I am the most excited about because I want to say the book in here is a book that I've already gotten. Yeah, I think it's the Starling House, and I really, really wanted to see what this looked like. And I, yeah, I'm really excited. I, I really don't care about the items that much. I just really want to see what they did with the book and if it beats out how pretty the Alcrate one was, because the Alcrate one was very pretty. Okay, so we have opening this up. Yeah, definitely the Starling House, Anti Hero. Just all that's in my head is the Taylor Swift song that's playing. We'll look at this and the spoilers for next month at the end. That leaves us with all the stuff in the box. I already see a Rosie Thorns mug, which I'm very excited about. So we're gonna get right into this. Okay, I figured we'll just start with the mug. I mean, you kinda have to. So Lumicrate exclusive mug. These are always so hard to show on camera because of the stupid ring light. This is space themed. Intermission, designed by Rosie Thorns. Interesting. I keep forgetting that Illumicrate actually does try to put sci-fi stuff in their boxes, unlike the other boxes that I get. I kind of wish there was a sci-fi only book subscription because I would love to get one of those. So we have the mug. What does that say? The Rise and Fall of Sanctuary Moon. Why does that sound familiar? I gotta block my face or it doesn't. Why does that look familiar? It sounds very, very familiar. I'm gonna have to look up what this is because I don't, off the top of my head, know what science fiction book this is. And a very common item that we get, I feel like we get at least four or five uh, these throughout the year from different book boxes. And we have, what does it say? One, I'm writing it backwards. One flesh, one end. Is this another Gideon the Ninth? like set of bookends that would be really funny because we already got the messed up ones by fairy loot uh 
Are these little are these Giddy in the Night? I don't know. I haven't read Giddy in the Night, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But that these are actually really, really good. I like these. These will look really nice on the shelf. Next we have what looks like some sort of fabric item. But it's got that like waterproof material that some people really don't like the feel of and I cannot blame them. What is this? Oh, bag, grocery bag. Seems like a grocery bag that I will never be able to fit back into the little pouch. I, part of me wishes that I had not done that. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. So this could be a couple things. Aladdin, off the top of my head. Immediately Aladdin. This could be, We Hunt the Flame. We Hunt the Flame is a very popular thing to put in boxes. Or it used to be, I haven't seen it as much. Could be, Ro what is it, The Rose and Dagger by Renee Audier? Oh, both of those are very old series. I don't know if they would include something from them. I don't know. It could be any of those. I'm I'm just gonna think it's Aladdin for now because I love Aladdin. So anyway, this is really pretty. It's huge. It's it's monstrous. And this is actually really like this is literally enormous. <laughs> so big. And then we have a hanging ornament. Ooh, inspired by Nettle and Bone. So this is the first thing that actually told me what it is. So I don't have to guess, which is nice, because I have the book, but I haven't read it. Uh, we have, oh, this is so cute. This is a little metal bookmark. This is adorable. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to read Nettle and Bone even more, because I, I have heard of the bone dog in it. Wow, it is sharp. It is very sharp <laughs> on the edges. That is so pretty. Okay, very happy with that. Definitely gonna hang that up. Oh, so we're down to the book. I'm already holding it. I'm already very excited. So we have, I'm trying to get all this stuff off of it because this type of cover loves uh, collecting things. So we have the Starling, I always call it the Starling House. It's just Starling House. It's one of those really cool translucent dust jackets. They're so cool. I love them so much. I do think I like the Alcrate one better just because the, the colors, the color scheme. The color scheme on the Illum or on the uh, Alcrate one is gorgeous, but I love this. This is this is great. This is great. I would not be able to pick between the two, like to get rid of one. Hopefully, I like the book. <laughs> I haven't read it. I've heard amazing things about it in my comment section. All of you guys are talking about how great the book is. So here we have this darling house. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, we have the side. And then we have the back. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. So like I said, this is a translucent dust jacket, which is just so cool. Like they look so cool. So I love that. And then underneath, to create the gorgeous scene that we had, we have this, which is beautiful. I love this type of design on hardcovers. This is my favorite thing to get in special editions are these like, printed on hardcovers and then we have the back which is like it's like it's like torn down or is it the back of the house it's the back of the house oh that's so cool okay that is so cool on the inside we have some artwork i do like this artwork i'm borderline again on this one but i do like it and then we have not signed does not look like it's signed interesting i forgot we have digital edges which look really, really good. And then the back is the same as the front. So I really like this, this is really, really pretty. So anyway, yeah, this was worth waiting for and seeing what this looked like. Okay, let's quickly talk about spoilers and then we are going to wrap this up because I have been talking way too much already. Uh, intermission mug designed by Rosie Thorns. This is the Murderbot Diaries. I knew it sounded familiar. I've read the first one and a half. I really, really need to continue the series because I've liked it so far. Locked Tomb Bookends. This is getting the ninth. It's done by No One Designs. No kidding, I liked it. I literally just got two uh, stickers and a bookmark in the mail from No One Designs because they're one of my favorite, favorite artists. Own Dog Ornament is done by The Bitter Season and it is Nettle and Bone. Night Market Foldable Bag designed by Clara McAllister and it is supposed to be designed by the Stardust Thief. I knew the ones that I was referencing were too old. The Illumicrate edition of the book is an acetate jacket. Apparently that's what they're called. Full color printing on the hardback by Magdalena Musiak. Digitally printed edges from the publisher. Interesting. And end of paper artwork. Oh, it's because it's just a copy of the front. So that's why I don't mind it. So normally I get really mad because Fairloot does like the copy from front to side and I don't like it. But because they changed the cover of Starling House on here, 
it's base it's it's different that's why i kind of like it better and i think it's rendered really well so that's funny that that's funny that they had to say the digitally printed edges from the publisher <laughs> Okay, that is everything in here. We have the theme for next month, which is in the stars. This is going to be sci-fi, which I'm excited about. I want to read more sci-fi books. That's kind of one of the things that I'm, I'm setting goals for next year. One of my goals for next year is reading more sci-fi books. Items in next month are inspired by the theme of fate and destiny, and fandoms include The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, Violet Made of Thorns, and Light from Uncommon Stars. All of our December boxes will contain their multi-fandom 2024 wall calendar. We get one every year, I think, right? They're, they're normally really, really pretty, so I'm excited about it. So that is everything in the box. That is everything. I really liked everything in here. I think the bag is the thing I'll get the least use of, but normally I put them in my car and I can use them grocery shopping or book shopping, and that's really nice. Yeah, I liked everything, and I liked these better than the fairy loot ones. <laughs> these getting in the night the bookends look a lot better uh, than the fairy loot ones, which is nice. They're, they didn't try to do the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the Roman numerals where they could get them backwards. They, they were smart about that. And I really like the mug. I'm really excited to continue the Murderbot series. That's one that I was actually reading with my husband. So we need to get back on that. Right now, my husband and I are reading Trust in the Emerald Sea. So after we finish that, maybe we'll go here uh and get back to the series but anyway that was everything we got lots and lots of stuff i think i'm most excited about the owl crate book and the uh, starling house because again i really i have really high hopes for starling house and the owl crate book just looked so pretty i don't know if i'll like it but it was absolutely stunning so i'm really excited about it i think in general this was a really good unboxing i think there were a few things uh in the box that could have been better but especially the fox and wit i totally forgot about the fox and wit i'm sitting here going oh this is mine pretty well and then i'm sitting there going wait what am i missing the fox and wit Oh man, I'm mad because Fox and Wood is a very small company and I really hate bashing any small companies. But if you're going to do a dust jacket as the only thing you do for a book, it better be done correctly. And this was not done correctly. So I'm really upset about that. Anyway, that is everything that I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future unboxings. I feel like I've got some stuff coming. I, did I miss the fairy loot for November? I feel like I didn't get the fairy loot for November yet. Did I? I, do, I don't remember. I'll have to look at my own unboxings, but if I didn't, it'll come eventually and it'll probably just have its own unboxing video. But anyway, yeah. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys liked, what you didn't like, what books you are enjoying. Don't tell me any spoilers for stuff that came in here. I haven't read any of these yet. And that's everything that I have for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.